So we showed how NAND gates and NOR gates are both universal. And here we have some examples of what you can do with that. If I give you a circuit and say, create a NAND implementation of that circuit, what I mean is, regardless of what gates are in there, make it so that it only has NAND gates. And there's a couple of ways to do that. You can do that with logic. You can use De Morgan and double inversion to manipulate the logic so that all there is is AND, and every term has an inverter over it. What you get then is everything is a NAND gate. And it's fairly straightforward to see, as we'll see, uh, that if you have something in a standard sum of products form, you can make that into a NAND gate representation very easily. You can also do that on the circuit. If I give you a generic circuit and I say create this same function, the same logic function using a NAND gates only, then you can manipulate the circuit and get the result. So let's look at how that works. If you do that with a function, if I give you a function, for example, A, B, or C, D, or E, very straightforward function, then all you have to do is take each of these operations and make it into a NAND gate, and that's what the result. And what you see in the circuit is that it is essentially, you're taking these AND gates and inverting them, but we don't wanna just make an inversion here because that changes the logic. In fact, we also put an inverter here and here and here, and we know that if we have inverters on the inside input of an OR gate, it's the same as if we have an inverter on the outside of an AND gate, that's De Morgan, and so this is our final result. And so you can see that the uh, any expression that you write out can be written out as just NAND gates. And so the same is true with uh, doing this by circuit. So this is a different circuit, uh, different function, but the same idea. If I give you A or B and C or D and E, and you write out the product of sums circuit for that, you have these OR gates and an AND gate here. If I were to do this using, uh, using the circuit, what I could do is put these inverters in front of it, right? That would change these OR gates to NOR gates, if I'm being asked for the NOR implementation. And then I could put inverters on the back or on the input of the AND gate, and that would convert this AND gate into a NOR gate because De Morgan says inputs inverted is the same as changing the function. So this becomes one of these, and it works the same way. And again, you can manipulate the function to do that, or you can manipulate the circuit. If I were to do this using a circuit manipulation, it's worth recognizing, again, by De Morgan, that uh, a NAND gate can be drawn in two different ways, right? I can either, oh, sorry, a NOR gate can be done in two different ways. I can either invert the output of a NOR, or De Morgan says that equivalently, I can invert the inputs of an AND. And it's the same function because De Morgan says that if I invert an OR, it's the same as inverting the inputs of an AND. And the bubbles on the circuit on the gates represent these inversions. <clears throat> so here's an example that we can do then. Uh, the example says, given this function, and this is just P, Q, R, and S, and a few AND terms with various inverters, simplify that function and implement it using NAND gates only. So uh, let's do that together and then I'll give you a few more examples. So the example says, given this function, we're gonna simplify it and then we're going to implement it using only NAND gates. So we've got P, Q, S, P prime, R prime, S, P, Q prime, R prime, P prime, Q, R, S. Now there's a number of ways to simplify, but since we've learned our Carnot maps, it might be easy to t take this function, put it into a Carnot map, then simplify as far as we can. So how do we do that? Well, we draw out our Carnot map, and then we're just gonna draw each of these terms in the Carnot map, and then see if there's any further simplification that can be done. So this is P, Q, R, S, and what we can say is term PQS, if we label our uh, rows and columns, PQS is true when PQRS and PQR prime S. So PQRS is here and PQR prime S is there. So those two min terms give us the term PQS. Now P prime R prime S, P prime is here, R prime is here, uh, S is here, so R prime S is these two, uh, is, is this column, and then we make P 
P be inverted. So P prime R prime S is there. And then P Q prime R prime. P is here. Q prime is there. And then R prime is here. And then P prime Q R S. P prime Q R S is here. So that's the K map that then results from this simplification. And what we'll find is we actually have a few simplifications that we can do. We can make a group here, uh, and that one is Q, S, and that makes sense because there's Q, S here, and there's Q, S there, so we could collect those, and we would just get Q, S by itself. Then we've got this group, which is R prime S, and again, that makes sense because there's R prime, R prime S. Uh, we could pull that from there. And then we've got finally a group. Uh, let's find another color here. Uh, maybe this color will work. This group right here, which is uh, P, Q prime, R prime. P, Q prime, R prime which is that term, so that one hasn't changed. So it can be used to increase the, um, the, the, the simplification from us some other groups, but that term then stays the same. So this is our final result, Q S or R bar S or P Q bar R bar. And now the question said, make it using NAND gates. So again, there's two ways to do that. I could either manipulate the circuit or I could draw it out and manip or sorry, manipulate the equation or I could draw it out and manipulate the circuit. Let's do both. So if I wanted to manipulate the equation, I'm going to invert and then invert again, because that gives me some inversions that I can use in De Morgan's process, right? So I'm gonna say that this is the same as Q S or R bar S or P Q bar R bar, and I'm gonna invert twice. That doesn't change the, the result, but that does give me an inverter that I can move down in. So this equals Q S all bar. And then because I'm bringing this down in with the De Morgan, the ors become ands. R bar S all bar. P Q bar R bar, all bar, all bar. So now everything is NAND gates, right? This big NAND gate here is this term and this term and this term. And in each individual term is also a NAND gate. So everything's done with NAND gates. Great, let's do that the other way. Let's take this and draw the circuit and then see if we can manipulate the circuit into being just NAND gates. So if we have P, Q, R, and S, then we have Q and S, that's uh, one of these terms. We'll put that one down here. There's S and there's Q. And then R bar S, so we'll put an inverter here, which is uh, R bar, and then S like that, and then P Q bar R bar, P Q bar R bar. And again, you could put the inverters there, uh, or you can put the bubbled inputs, and then these all get Ord together. Now, if I want to change this into a circuit that only uses NAND gates, well, what I can do is I can just make every gate into a NAND gate and then undo any changes I make. So I make these into NAND gates just by drawing an inverter there. But I can't just put an inverter there, that would change the logic. So instead, I will add inverters to undo that change. Now, what about the OR gate? Well, to make an OR gate into a NAND, De Morgan says I can do that by putting inverters on the inputs. So I put an inverter here. And again, I put other inverters to make sure that I'm not making any changes to the logical function. Now, I think maybe you can see uh, that these inverters will cancel each other out. And isn't that nice that that happens really nicely and naturally? And then what we're left with is the same circuit that you would get if you drew this one out, which is the same three AND gates. I'm just gonna leave those inverters there because we know that an inverted input 
is going to be the same as if we had an inverter going into an input. So that's okay. So I'll draw these uh, AND gates uh, the same way with uh, inverters. And then I'll hook them all up just like we had before. P is there, Q is there, R is there, and F is there. S goes to this one and this one. R uh, goes to this one and uh, this one. P goes to this one and Q goes here and here. Good enough. Then we'll make these actually NAND gates because that's what this is, right? QS NANDed, that's here. QS NANDed, R bar S NANDed, R bar S NANDed, P Q bar R bar should be NANDed. And then we NAND all those together. And that is the same circuit. So you can see that we can do this in two different ways. We can either draw the circuit and then change every gate to NAND gates, undoing any change we make, or we can change it in the logical function. And both of those should give us similar or even the same answers.